Hello viewers and welcome back to another video. Replicate.com just might be one of my favorite AI websites of all time. It offers a decent free trial and then a very cheap method of generating with tons of different AIs. I mean, here are their collections. We have image to text, super resolution style transfer, machine learning makeovers, image restoration, text to image, and you know, you can search up models, but they have a ton of different models here on replicate.com. I've made a whole video about it before, but of course, ever since Stable Diffusion's open source release, a ton of different AI models have made their way onto replicate.com, and it's not just base Stable Diffusion either. There's a lot of different cool stuff that uses Stable Diffusion. So, it is my plan today to talk about those different various Stable Diffusion related replication programs or apps and they will all be linked down in the description below for you to play with. One thing I really want to point out here, that is no joke right there, I don't know if you can see it right under the webcam, 3.1 million runs through replicate.com of stable diffusion so yeah this is the base stable diffusion that can be found here on replicate it's very similar to the dream app that's made by stable diffusions creators as we can see here is the output on the side just like regular replicate.com you just put your image prompt in here like normal we've got width going all the way up to 1024 and what's nice is you can go down to 128 initial image to generate variations of which is very nice to see in here something that wasn't available on the Dream app. We've got a mask for inpainting, which is extremely exciting as well. Again, something that's not available in that base Dream app either. So yes, both variations and inpainting are supported on the Replicate.com version of Stable Diffusion. We've got a prompt strength that specifically corresponds to the initial image or variations, so we can say how strong the prompt will affect that. Number of images to output, you can go all the way up to four. We've got the obvious steps amount. We can start at either one step or all the way to 500 steps, which is quite a lot. And of course, the guidance classifier free scale. In this one, you can actually do decimals, not available in the Dream app as well. And of course, the seed. You know, a lot of people might actually say this is the optimal way to easily run stable diffusion at home. And honestly, I would have to say those people definitely have a pretty good argument for it considering it has more features than the actual Stable Diffusion Dream app that's made by the creators of Stable Diffusion. Let's give this just a quick little run here with a simple prompt. I want to try a low res 128 by 128 with four outputs. NSFW content detected. Oh yeah, by the way, this one has the NSFW filter. I was just trying to generate a bird. All right, we'll do the classic. I think there's genuinely something wrong with the Stable Diffusion model here on Replicate right now. Pretty much any prompt I input it says that it's NSFW content. Let's just try literally the prompt lemon. Okay, we literally can't use any prompts apparently right now on this. NSFW content detected. Try a different prompt. All right, we will just completely avoid using this. Apparently there's something wrong with it at the moment. Maybe it's not working properly. Anyways, yes. So the base Stable Diffusion here on Replicate.com has more features than actual Stable Diffusion's Dream Studio app at the current moment, but obviously Dream Studio is going to be updated. I'm sure the regular Stable Diffusion on here will be working at some point in the future. It just seems to be some sort of issue at the moment. Well, anyways, guys, let's try Image 2 Prompt that's optimized for stable diffusion generated images. This is super, super interesting. I absolutely love this because it can really help you create, you know, great ideas to actually generate more AI art. Essentially what you do is you put an image in here and then it outputs a prompt for the image. And it's been pretty accurate in my testing at least. Some other people have made a video on this, um, but I just really wanted to mention it in this video because it's so awesome. So here's the little demo here. We've got a picture of obviously a cat wearing a suit. So it is a cat wearing a suit and tie with green eyes, stock photo by this guy, I guess. Pexels, furry art, stock photo, creative commons attribution, quantum wave tracing. So yeah, even if this prompt right here isn't completely accurate to the original prompt that generated this AI generated image, it still can provide some great keywords for actually generating new AI art. And that's what I especially like about this one. So let's give it a shot here. We'll take a nice dolly image here and see what we get. All you have to do is obviously select your image by either dropping or clicking to select. And then we just click the submit button down here and 
very quickly it generates a prompt based off of this image a cartoon character wearing sunglasses sitting on the beach a 3d render by chris labroy cg society nuclear art global illumination 3d v-ray so that's what it thinks this prompt is obviously it somehow missed the fact that it was a lemon character but since this is a dolly image why don't we try to generate this prompt in dolly too and oh my webcam was kind of in the way there all right let's take this new ai generated prompt and see how it does with an ai generated image in dolly too it is important to note though that image to prompt generator there that we just tried is in fact optimized specifically for stable diffusion but it can still work well with stuff like dolly too it just works best with stable diffusion okay well we definitely got the cartoon character wearing sunglasses on the beach with the 3d render and the cg society and all that stuff so it actually did a pretty good job with this prompt let's go ahead and see how this prompt does in stable diffusion I'm going to go ahead and generate this inside of Dream Studio because, again, the Replicate app doesn't seem to be working well right now. And there we go. All right. We definitely got a cartoon character and a 3D render. Definitely on the beach and everything. 3D render. Not so bad. Pretty interesting stuff we got here. Let's take this one of a robot reading a book and submit it. A robot reading a book with green eyes. A 3D render by Walter Bays. Shutterstock contest winner, Lace Automatist. Okay, so a Spanish word in there. Future Tech Quantum Wave Tracing rendered in Cinema 4D. Now I want to throw this into Dali again, like we just did to see if it's very different from this. Okay, so it is very different from this. You know, the style of the robot's different, but it's the basic idea that's the same. Definitely a robot reading a book. Has green eyes in most of them, except for this one. I do have to say, though, these robots are quite a bit scarier, a little bit spookier than the original robot here. What's nice, though, is we can put any image we want in here. So I could just put Mario in here and see if it can figure out that it is, in fact, Mario. A cartoon character with a mustache and blue overalls, a 3D runner by Miyamoto, polycount contest winner, photorealism, physically based rendering, rendered in Maya character. Okay, let's see if we can get a nice Mario character in Dolly with this. I mean, what an interesting way to generate AI art. And on obviously does create some very good keywords like rendered in Maya, physically based rendering, photorealism, poly count, contest winner, something. That's one I would definitely would never have thought of. But yeah, this is sort of like a knockoff Mario character it created. And it's actually very accurate to the prompt, I will say this. Albeit with a few random artifacts and such in these prompts I'm pretty interesting it can literally take any image and give you a word description of it very incredible technology and it definitely has uses just beyond actually generating ai generated art like you got to wonder what it thinks about really abstract stuff like this is the open ai logo for example and if we submit this a black and white photo of a clock tower a wireframe diagram by this guy cg society die transfer black background unreal engine 5 okay Let's see what Dolly thinks of that. I doubt it's going to generate this. Very interesting. It, it sort of acts like a human in a way of trying to describe an image. It thinks it looks like a clock tower. And I can see where it's coming from. AI is beginning to get eyes. It can see images and then think about them now. Things are just getting crazy. Okay, this is actually a really cool little prompt. Definitely not exactly what this image is, but I guess you could sort of see the resemblance. Definitely a, a wireframe clock tower. This produced some really really interesting concept art images wow really cool stuff definitely one that's very fun to play around with and probably my favorite out of the bunch today however next up we're going to start looking at animation which is very very exciting stable diffusion animation that is and the first one we're going to look at is deforum animating prompts with stable diffusion so essentially what happens is we put a prompt in angle parameter for where the motion is so i assume this one just means zooming in so this is the angle that the motion is going to be on. Then we've got how much it's going to zoom in. Translation for the motion and translation Y for the motion. I'm just going to leave these separate because I don't want to ruin my end result. We've got the color coherence. Again, I'm just going to leave this stock because I have no idea what the rest of these do. We've got the sampler and these are all the different stable diffusion samplers. So if you've seen any comparisons with these samplers, you know which one you'd want to pick. And we've got frame rate for the video. I'm going to leave it at 15 FPS because I assume 60 is going to take a very long time. This model costs $1.46, by the way, to run. The other ones that we've seen today so far are very cheap, but these animation prompts are very expensive 
to run. So, you know, it costs $0.0023 per second to run, and it takes 10 minutes to actually create the final result. So, yeah, that's like $1.46 per prompt. That's quite expensive. And, you know, the longer it takes to generate, the more money you're going to spend. We're going to throw the lemon prompt in there. This is one of my favorite lemon prompts, just because I'm purely interested to see what it'll generate. But also, guys, if you're worried about running something like this because you can't afford it, it's also important to remember that there is a way to run it on your own system at home for pretty much all of these. Just click on this and you'll be able to delve into the rabbit hole that is running it on your own computer. And also, when you do first get Replicate.com, there is a free trial, so you could run this for completely free if you've never used Replicate.com before. Anyways, let's submit this and wait a good 12 minutes or so for it to generate. Okay, so our image has generated here. As you can see, there's definitely a lot of logs here. It definitely does take quite a lot of time to render it. However, the output here, as you can see in this little video that we can play through, is quite incredible. We definitely got our lemon character. And just watching through this here, we can see it starts out with the lemon character and just sort of zooms in on this infinite zoom of the same prompt. It is definitely really, really cool. There is no doubt that you can definitely create some really interesting art with this. And I would absolutely love to see what you guys are able to generate if a few of you do want to render this very expensive little stable diffusion animation demo. Feel free to send them into my Discord. We just hit 3,000 members in my Discord server. Link down in the description below. But yeah, this is just super cool. And it's sort of a peek at, you know, animation that's possible with image AIs like we see today. And yeah, there's definitely some options to mess around with this if you're willing to spend the money to actually generate them. But yeah. Super interesting and super awesome. And finally here, we've actually got another little stable diffusion one. This one combines two prompts together and will basically transform one prompt into another in an animation. This is also very expensive to run as well. Not as expensive, it's 37 cents per prompt here, so it's not as expensive as the other one, but very, very interesting results. As you can see, this is a transfer between like a monolith in the desert to a monolith in the white room. And this little example here is a very, very cool one. As you can see, it slowly transfers the image in an animation to the other prompt. So yeah, this is really cool stuff as well. And it's very impressive to see. Tons of fun to mess around with. I, again, would love to see what you guys are able to generate. And the cool thing about this one as well is it starts off with the in initial prompt here, which is the monolith sort of in the desert and it transfers into the image, basically the second prompt in the middle, and then it transfers it back, which is uh, cool to see. So yeah, basically it transfers from the original prompt to the new prompt, then back to the original prompt. And there's a lot of examples for this one as well that you can see the animations. This is like a painting of someone, and then it transfers into a, another painting, and then it transfers it back again. It can do a lot of really cool abstract stuff, travel into another dimension, geometric sparkling, and then it transfers from a kaleidoscope hyperspace vortex. So yeah, this is really cool. Abstract art, for example. It also does these landscapes really well as well. Skyline of a medieval London. And then this one sort of slowly transfers into neon skyline in the year 2050. So it's like old to future. So yeah, there's definitely a lot of really cool concepts that can be discovered with this stuff. So this is trying to go from angry Tom Cruise to a smiling Tom Cruise, and it sort of worked out here. It's almost like a good animation using the same seed for the same image, and you can see him sort of slowly smile. So they tried to do like a real animation with this one, and it sort of worked out. This one is supposed to be a dead tree that slowly grows leaves and grows to life, which is pretty interesting and pretty cool here. I've covered this on the channel in another video in the past as well. So yes, everyone, I just wanted to show off some of the really cool stuff that's using Stable Diffusion here on Replicate.com. Again, one of my favorite AI websites. And um, yeah, just a little bit of news for you regarding the different Stable Diffusion-based AI programs that are out there right now. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. By the way, I'd like to let everyone know that school is starting for me. So yeah, college is going to be keeping me pretty busy, but I am going to try to do consistent uploads weekly, probably less uploads than I was doing before, unfortunately, because I'm going to be more busy with school. And there are some other projects also that I'm working on, but they are for this channel. So at 
least that will be exciting. But thank you everyone for watching. I'm Evan Productions. Check out the Discord, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one.